Chronic Penny Model of a Super Lattice We all know what is a Super Lattice. Super Lattice means it is a multiple quantum well, but its thickness, that is its barrier thickness is very narrow. As a result, there will be tunneling. So such a structure, such a type of multiple quantum well is termed as Super Lattice. In 1931, Kronik and Penny, they modeled the potential well for the movement of electron. That is, in that it is assumed that if the electron is, if, if an electron is in the positive ion side, then its voltage is assumed to be zero. If the electron is between two positive, is between two positive ion side, then its energy is assumed as V0 that is the potential is in the shape of a square wave so such a uh, periodic potential of a super lattice is shown in this figure and this uh, it can be characterized by various parameters such as well thickness barrier thickness and barrier height in a super lattice the periodicity is termed as D which is equal to A plus B. So using this uh, chronic penny model, we can find out the structure of band, the forbidden sounds, size of cap, etc. So in order to find that, we will start with the Schrodinger time independent equation. So the Schrodinger time independent equation is given as dou square psi 1 by dou z square plus 2m by h bar square e minus v naught psi 1 equal to 0. And now we will consider the well region. Well region is between 0 and A where voltage is equal to 0. Now the Schrodinger equation will become dou square psi 1 by dou z square plus 2m by h bar square e psi 1 equal to 0. Its solution is psi 1 of z equal to a e raised to i k naught z plus b e raised to minus i k naught z where k naught square is equal to 2 m e by h bar square. So now we will get the v function for the well region. Now we will move to the barrier region. That is barrier region is between 0 and minus p where v equal to v naught. Now the equation becomes dou square Schrodinger time equation becomes dou square psi 2 by dou z square minus q square psi 2 equal to 0 where q square is equal to 2m by h bar square v naught minus e that is v naught is always greater than e so our condition v naught always greater than e I don't know. our sign change out of the now the solution is psi 2 of z is equal to c e raised to q z plus d e raised to minus q z. So this is the wave function for the barrier region. So now we Schrodinger time independent equation which is the wave function for barrier region as well as well region is formulated. Now here equations are constant and a, B, C, D in the constants. So in order to calculate that constant, we have to apply boundary conditions. In that boundary condition means the wave function as well as their derivatives are continuous at z equal to 0. Now applying condition 9 to equation 3 and 8. That is applying condition 9. 9 means psi 1 equal to psi 2 at z equal to 0. Your condition equation 3 ilum 8 ilum apply say again. Equation 3 ilum equation 8 ilum z equal to 0 substitute here. Then at an equate table we will get the final result as a plus b is equal to c plus d. So now the first boundary condition applies here. Now we'll move to the second boundary condition. Second boundary condition means d psi 1 by d z equal to d psi 2 by d z at z equal to 0. So then we need the derivative calculate here. Psi 1 d psi 2 d derivative calculate here. That is d psi 1 by d z is equal to i k naught into a e raised to i k naught z minus 
b e raised to minus i k naught z. Similarly, d psi 2 by d z equal to q into c e raised to q z minus d e raised to minus q z. Now, 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 our boundary condition, namla equation 14 and equation 15, apply to yarn angle, we will get the final result as i k naught into a minus b equal to q into c minus d. So, we will boundary conditions apply to the trend equations formulate the formulated. Now, block theorem applies here. That is, according to block theorem, the wave functions at two different locations can be related as psi of a is equal to psi of minus b into e raised to i k plus i k into a plus b, where k is the wave vector. Now, this block theorem is applied to equation 3 and equation 8. So, equation 3 ilum, equation 8 ilum, e block theorem applies to angular. Equation 3 ilum, 8 ilum, is it in a, is it in a a which it is it in a is it should be replaced by a and minus b. Then we will get the final result as equation 3 ila is it in a a which replace a. So we will get a into e raised to i k naught a plus b into e raised to minus i k naught a. Equation number 8 ila is it in a minus b which it replace a. Then we will get c into e raised to minus q b plus d into e raised to q b into e raised to i k naught a plus b. So, our block theorem then the formula can apply equations. Equations are not easy. Again, this same equation should be applied to equation number 14 and 15. Then we will get i k naught into a e raised to i k naught a minus b into e raised to minus i k naught a is equal to q into c e raised to minus q b minus d into e raised to e raised to qb into e raised to i k naught a plus b. So, we will block theorem apply to the term boundary conditions apply to the term. Now, equations will formulate the That is equation number 13, 16, 18, and 19. So, e equations will be a solution calculate the only if the determinant of the coefficients are equal to 0. So, our null equations in the middle, determinants a mathram, coefficients a mathram, then its determinant equal to 0, calculate here. Our determinant calculation, coefficients a mathram, and it is it. Now, your determinant calculate either simplify the rainbow, we will get the final result as q square minus k naught square divided by 2q k naught sin k naught a sin h q b plus cos k naught a cos h q b equal to cos k a plus b. So, here equation na, again simplified formula we will assume uh, we will uh, follow certain assumptions such as v naught tends to infinity. When v naught tends to infinity, then b equal to barrier thickness will be equal to 0, sin h q b equal to q b, cos h q b equal to 1. Three assumptions. Three carrying number assume jaya. Then our equation, final equation, q square minus k naught square. And q square and then we have already uh, barrier region calculated it under k naught square well region and calculate that under. So, our equation substitute in we will get the final result as q square minus k naught square is equal to 2mv naught by h bar square. So, your assumption of q square and uh, term replace either the mellam. Then, our equation will substitute in we will get mv naught ab divided by h bar square into sin k naught a by k naught a plus cos k naught a equal to cos k a where m v naught a b by h bar square is taken as f then we will get the final equation that is the final solution as f sin k naught a divided by k naught a plus cos k naught a equal to cos k a so uh, from the above equation we will get the all the possible values of k naught from that we can find the energy values of an electron in a periodic potential. 
that is k naught kitti kanyale energy value namke calculate kiyam using the equation e equal to h bar square k naught square by 2m so in that equation f is a measure of potential barrier where and k naught and k are variables then the rhs the rhs is cos ka is always in the range of minus 1 to plus 1 but uh, LHS, we can say LHS is in a particular range. That is, there are gaps in the allowed energies of electrons. It can be uh, explained using that uh, plot. That is, LHS is plot against K naught A. In that uh, figure, the bold lines, the bold bars gives possible energy values. That is, K naught A. And uh, for each value of k, we need to calculate a horizontal line for cos k a. So the meeting point of this curve with this line gives gives the energy gives the energy values of an electron in a super lattice. If the k value of the curve is outside the range. That is a range means that uh, plus one to minus one. We will that area in that area is termed as forbidden energy gap if the curve is inside the specific range that is plus 1 and minus 1 then that region is termed as energy band that is the allowed band then we have figure in the range and outside of the gap energy gap within the range and allowed band our meeting point curve horizontal lines in the middle our meeting point which is meeting point and energy values determine GMD you see now the uh, value vary say that the energy graph plot here so our graph on at the figure like answer all of so our one band, one particular band, there are different k values in it. Brilliant sounds in the That is the possible values of k in an allowed band is called brilliant sounds. So, we have a bulk material. That is the energy versus wave, uh, wave vector plot. It will be a continuous, continuous uh, parabola, a continuous function. It means a parabolic function. But, uh, super lattice is the our uh, continuous parabola is broken down into several bands and moreover between uh, bands there is a certain gap that is after each n pi by d there will be a gap so our gap is forbidden gap in outside range we have forbidden gap our broken lines the allowed band in the area so our allowed band we have a gap our forbidden gap and down means our brilliant zone brilliant zone or a brilliant zone can you know them go to forbidden gap energy gap and down so they allow the first brilliant zone or another if I d2 plus pi by pi by d and the first brilliant zone or another now second will a brilliant form in the rainbow and the part side and minus pi by d2 minus 2 pi by d and plus pi by d to 2 pi by d so your uh, boundary represent in the sentence electron and uh, discontinuity on the illa the electron uh, um, so uh, you to sound boundaries uh, it represents a maximum energy that the electron can have without any discontinuity our Boundary our uh, brilliant zone uh, represent in the maximum energy that the electron can have without any discontinuity. Now, our uh, spec our brilliant zone and reduced reduced zone like a matter that is pi by d2 minus pi by d range like a matter there won't be any change. Our reduced uh, sound like a matter to all next diagram. Now, now sound folding sound folding uh, super lattice la 
വി നോ ദ ലാറ്റസ്റ്റ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് എ ആൻഡ് ബി ആണ് വിത്ത് എ പീരീഡ് ഓഫ് എ പ്ലസ് ബി സോ എൻ്റെ പ്രീവിയസ് കേസിൽ നോക്കുക ഫസ്റ്റ് ബ്രില്യൻ സോൺ എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ടു പൈ ബൈ എ ആണ് സെയിം ടു പൈ ബൈ ബി ആയിരിക്കും ബൾക്ക് മെറ്റീരിയലിലെ ബ്രില്യൻ സോൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് വെറസ് ഇൻ സൂപ്പർ ലാറ്റസ്റ്റ് ദറ്റ് ബ്രില്യൻ സോൺ വിൽ ബി ടു പൈ ബൈ എ പ്ലസ് ബി ദറ്റ് ഇസ് ലാർജ് ലാറ്റസ്റ്റ് കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് വരുമ്പോൾ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എ സ്മോൾ ബ്രില്യൻ സോൺ so this uh, smaller we will get a number of smaller brilliant zones this results in the formation of mini bands in super lattice so such an effect is termed as zone folding effect now a few figure nokkanengile large barriers anengile avada band formation onnu undavilla whereas in super lattice so many mini bands are formed ഈ ഒരു ഫീച്ചറിനെയാണ് നമ്മൾ സൗണ്ട് ഫോൾഡിങ് എഫക്റ്റ് എന്ന് പറയുക 